Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a 2022 BMW M240i X Drive. Before we get into the video, though, I do want to mention if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. I will be increasing the price in the next few weeks. So if you want to get it at a lower price, get it now. Let's get right into the review. Popping under the hood, we have a turbocharged three liter inline six that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 23 around town and then 32 on the highway with power outputs being 382 horsepower and then 369 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the M240i. So first off, you guys can see here with the hood, how you have this U shape here in the center, and then you've got the lines off to the side. Definitely gives it a very unique appearance and makes this little car look just a little bit more muscular. BMW logo there in the center. And then you can see here with the daytime running lights, and then you can see the LED headlights themselves, super bright. We've got the blacked out trim here with the parking sensor off to the side, and then more parking sensors integrated here to the rest of the front. And then notice the camera there at the very center. We have BMW's kidney front grille, and then notice that the shutters are actually closed right there. And then you can see down below here with the well sensor right there and then more black dead trim than the front splitter setup. Um, but overall, I mean, you guys can see here in the light, this is why I have it parked this way. And then also here in the shadow, doesn't look great on camera to be honest, but in person with the proportions and everything, it looks a lot better. Now coming on the side here, we've got two 25 millimeter tires wrapped around 19 inch wheels in the front and then two 55 millimeter tires wrapped around 19 inch wheels in the rear. We do have the M Sport differential with this and then also we have adaptive suspension. So you guys will see it leads to some exciting driving dynamics. Now notice here with the wheel design itself, you can see we've got the silver there on the top and then it's kind of darker below that. It's kind of like a traditional sports car thing to do at this point. And then notice with the brake caliper how it's painted in the M blue color is what I will call it. And then I love this white metallic paint. It looks fantastic. I love how the fender pops out a little bit. Notice the mirrors, they're blacked out. Nice contrast. And then also around the windows as well. And you can see the trim here on the side that's also blacked out. And then here is your full side view on the car, which, uh, yeah, again, like I said, it doesn't look great on camera, but it looks a lot better in person with the proportions. Now here's our key fob, we have our unlock lock and then the opening here for the trunk and then you guys can see nothing happened there on the back, but press this and it'll unlatch it. You do have to lift it up the rest of the way yourself and you can see here with our little bags that we have with it just in case something happens, right? And the cargo net on the other side, storage space. It was a small car, but it's pretty decent. And other than that, when you're done, you just drop it down like normal. Boom. Now let's finish things up here with the rear. So first off with the taillights, definitely a unique design from a taillight perspective. Um, but you know, I actually think they look pretty good, pretty modern. And then notice here, X-Drive M240i, more parking sensors here in the rear end. And then notice it's all blacked out here at the bottom. I love the exhaust tip coverings. I think those look really cool, really unique. And again, overall, the rear end looks Kind of weird on camera because I'm looking at the camera view and I'm looking at it in person and I'm like, this doesn't look like the same car. It's weird how some cars are photogenic and well, other cars aren't, but there's the outside. Now here is the front door panel. You guys can see with the padding down below and the contrasted stitching. We've got the M colors here, memory seats, and then all the window controls. The mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And uh, before we go to the front seat, let's actually go over the back seats. So we're gonna throw that forward. Now here is the rear seat. You guys can see it looks great with the red leather. Now I will say that I reserve it for kids. You guys can see legroom is pretty cramped and it's not too difficult to get back there. You pull the latch and the seat automatically goes forward, which is great from a practicality standpoint. Um, but yeah, like I said, probably reserve that for kids. Now as for the front seat, well, uh, lots of shadow action happening here. Sorry about that. But yeah, really nice bolstering here on the seat itself. And then you've got your power adjustments here on the side. And then notice we've got our thigh bolster slash uh, crumb collector is what I always call these. Really nice pedals here at the bottom. We've got our light controls just up above. And well, let's pop in. Now 
uh, here is the steering wheel. You guys can see leather trim all around, and then you got the stitching here in the center portion. M logo at the bottom, and then the heated steering wheel button. And then you guys can see here, we've got the adaptive cruise control paddle shifters for the eight-speed automatic. We have our turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock, you know, normal stuff. I love how you have stitching around the airbag cover too. Definitely makes it look a lot more premium. Um, but overall, BMW does great with their steering wheels. So quick rundown here on the digital gauge cluster because I've reviewed quite a few BMWs with this at this point. Fuel and speed over on the one side shows you fuel range and everything. And then you can see the RPMs over on the other side and then like temperature and what drive mode you're in, engine temperature, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it looks great from an aesthetic perspective. And then when you pop it into the sport mode, notice it gets red and aggressive versus the regular drive mode. So yeah, pretty cool with that setup. Now here is the center infotainment system. First off, you got this home tab that you can press and then it lets you scroll into uh, different menus. Basically very easy to use. Response time of the screen is fantastic. And if we pop it in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you can see here with the different uh, camera viewpoints that'll pop up like the side camera and all that. So from a camera perspective, uh, the car's solid. And then there is a camera viewpoint that we can press. And then notice how that'll show the different camera viewpoints, which is pretty cool. So yeah, overall, Solid. Uh, now, other than that, we've got the safety tech button just down below the infotainment system and then hazard lights. And then we have our climate controls down below that. This does have dual zone climate and heated seats. And yeah, that's that whole section. Analog controls for the radio. And then you guys can see this trim piece that covers up the wireless phone charger and then a couple of cup holders. We have our stability control here. This is the camera button, parking sensors, auto stop start, engine stop start, drive mode select, which when you press the drive modes, it'll actually pop up here on the infotainment system and show you what drive mode you're in which is, uh, you know, pretty cool. And then we have the analog control for the infotainment system. So if you don't want to use the touchscreen function, you can use this dial and these shortcut buttons. And then again, shifter for the 8-speed automatic with the manual shift function, parking brake. And you can see with the center console, decent storage space, nice leather here on top of it. And then you guys can see here with the dash setup. And then here's the glove box, pretty normal. And then notice the black trim and all of that. Looks great from aesthetic perspective and then popping up top we do have a sunroof so you can see that setup and this is actually pretty big for a car of this size control for the center is just right there and then you can see the mirror now here's a window sticker first off you can see the different bits of equipment so no space price forty eight thousand five fifty. and then this one is fully loaded it's got every single package standard equipment's here off to the side if you guys are wondering on that um, but notice total msrp fifty seven thousand two hundred ninety five uh, now, some cool packages on this particular one, driving assistance package, right, which helps out with uh, daily driving and then premium package, right, makes it a little bit more comfortable. Um, but yeah, there's quite a bit added to this uh, with the M240i package. Anyways, let's take it out and see how it drives. Talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood. Both the mirrors are still blind spot monitoring. And throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So starting off here in the BMW M240i X Drive. And so this is a pretty interesting car. This is basically the all-wheel drive Supra is what everyone uh, calls this, or at least what car journalists call this. And I owned a Supra for quite some time, the new Supra, right, the 2021. Same exact powertrain as this. And so I will be able to tell you guys if this actually is uh, an all-wheel all drive Supra or not. Um, first off, I love the seats in this car. Uh, bolsters pop out quite a bit. And so it just, it just holds you in place very nicely. And it's just kind of what I want in a you know more performance-oriented car like this. We'll see how the suspension does over the train tracks. We're just in the adaptive, so it's uh, supposed to adapt to any condition. Yeah did really well over the train tracks right there and it's not like we're taking this at like truck speeds or anything like that we're just this is a car so uh, the, the biggest thing I want to see is just like how does the suspension handle like little bumps and everything that you might encounter uh, while you're on the road and everything and so yeah it did a, it did a great uh, job that is for sure I'm gonna pop it into the sport mode now this is gonna be a little bit more aggressive we're also gonna pop it into the manual mode as well now, the one thing I love about BMWs is the engines are just so responsive. And also, the transmission is so responsive. 
You guys can see the downshifts like instantaneous. <laughs> Got little pops out of the back end too. It's fun. It's quick though. It is. You, you gotta you gotta be kind of careful with this car because you might go over the speed limit. It is it is quick, uh, and with that X Drive system, you just get grip all the time. It's something that you don't get with the new Toyota Supra, and so obviously that's great for winter conditions, right? And this actually has winter tires on it right now, um, but also you know just for you know normal day to day use, it's it's great to get tons of grip. And aside from that, let's actually talk about daily driver stuff. So like I said, seat comfort, I, I like these seats. I think they're great. Um, I've done quite a few long commutes in these seats and completely fine. And then, you know, radio, love how it functions. Infotainment system is really easy to use. BMW's nailed it from that perspective. Uh, climb controls are easy to use as well. I like how there's individual buttons for all the drive modes. That makes it so it's easy to select uh, which drive mode that you want to use. And then, you know, ride quality is smooth. Um, the only thing is this doesn't have like steering assistance on the highway, so you do have to drive it yourself a little bit. But I mean, it's such a fun car to drive that like, you know, I, I wanna drive it myself anyways. I don't want to uh, have the car do the things for me, if that makes sense. So great from that perspective as well. And so yeah, it's just, it's just all around great um, from a, a daily driver perspective. And you know, it gets good fuel economy too. That's another big benefit of this is you actually can get good fuel economy even though it says all-wheel drive even though it's a high performance you know sedan it gets great fuel economy see how it does over this little train track situation a little bit stiffer in the sport mode so when you're in the adaptive setting it's like um it's, it's like luxury car level but again with this adaptive suspension it definitely stiffens up in the sport mode quite a bit and so going over the train tracks it's quite a bit stiffer Steering's great too. It's another big plus is just the steering on this. So we're actually gonna take it in, out of the sport mode into adaptive. Still got it in the manual shift mode, but I wanna go back over these train tracks in adaptive just so I can show you guys the difference. Yeah, so much more compliant. I love the little pops you get when you when you when you upshift under throttle. Does little just like the Supra it does it does little pops at the back. It's so fun. It is so fun. Uh, so yeah, let's sum things up here with the BMW M240i X Drive. Uh, so first off, from an exterior aesthetics perspective, I think it's a great looking. Uh, car in person like I said pictures and videos just don't do it justice whatsoever it's it's definitely an in-person car that is for sure uh, and then interior it's normal BMW interior so if you like those interiors then yeah uh, and then from a driving dynamics perspective it's so fun uh, it drives super similar to the super not the same very similar but again it's got that all-wheel drive you know grip that changes the dynamics and so this this feels safer than the Supra, if that makes sense, because you don't feel like the car is just gonna like spin out or anything like that. It just always grips. And so basically, if you want like a daily driver, all-wheel drive Supra, right? That's what this gives you, right? It does have BMW styling. It doesn't have the Supra's cool futuristic styling, but you know, this is still, a, like I said, it's a good looking car. My preferred BMW styling though, I will say is like the three series. Like the, the M340i X-Drive, I, I did review one of those a couple weeks ago. Go look at that review if you want to see. I do like how that looks a little bit more than this. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think on this and uh, I'm going to have fun driving it. That's going to sum things up for our video on this 2022 BMW M240i X-Drive. And with that being said, I'll see all of you in the next video.